welcome. Do you guys want to see me play a dead game? We'll say no more. <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> so here we are. We're playing MLB The Show 19. And today for you guys, I have a all-time Chicago Cubs team build for you guys. Um, I am a huge Cubs fan, so this will probably be the first team build that I do. As you can see in this main lineup. So you can see who my second team is probably going to be. It will probably be the, the Southsiders of the same city of Chicago. But today we're looking at the North Siders. So today, uh, I've messed with the lineup too. Leading off, of course, is going to be the second baseman, Ryan Sandberg. Uh, great cubby, you know, a cubby crate. I don't know why I said great cubby, but a cubby great, obviously. Uh, really great career with the Cubs. So far, we have three games with them, eight plate appearances, and batting 375 for us with zero home runs. So then batting second and right field, we got Andre Dawson. This was towards the end of his career. He played for the Chicago Cubs because he was a Washington, no, a Montreal Expo. So and then we see we only have one game with him, five plate appearances, 200 batting average. Batting third, we have at first base, Anthony Rizzo. We've had 31 games with him, batting 359 with him. Um, I don't think any of those are ranked seasons. I'm pretty sure some of them, I think most of these are BR stats. So... In batting cleanup, we got the show finest, Javi Baez. This is a no-doubter to put in the Cub, all-time Cubs lineup. And then batting fifth, we got the third baseman finest, Chris Bryant. Hopefully he stays with the Cubs. Uh, a lot of trade rumors going on with this guy. And then batting sixth, we got the postseason team affinity card, Kyle Schwarber, out in left field. This, I, this, I've been using the, this card was a lot. He used to play catcher for me during the uh, early stages of MLB The Show. And we got a batting average of 302 and 54 home runs. I'm pretty sure he leads my team all around with home runs. And then batting seventh, we got the catcher, Wilson Contreras. Very shockingly, actually, going on today, he uh, tweeted a very ominous tweet saying thank you so much to a previous tweet of Cubs Live about how he was going to be great. And there was two dots at the end. So we don't know. Maybe he's going to be traded today. I don't know when those news are going to break. But there's been a lot of trading talks about Wilson Contreras as well, and then out and, s and then batting eighth and playing center field we got Jason Hayward. Uh, I couldn't really find anyone to play center field for the Cubs um, that could you know actually play center field, except for this card here. So then in the bench we got the uh, gold team affinity card All Star 2011 Starlin Castro. I really liked Starlin Castro growing up and watching him play. Uh, very sad that he moved and everything. See, so, yeah. <laughs> not a lot of stats there. And, of course, in right field, a guy that I really hope the Cubs sign back, really hope, is Nicholas Castellanos. Uh, really turned the team around. Actually, was probably the only, like, I think he was the second-half team MVP after the trade deadline for the Cubs was definitely Nick Castellanos. And you don't, if you say he wasn't, then you're just flat-out lying. And, then of course, Ben Zobris, who is no longer going to be a Cub, I don't think we're going to sign him back. Uh, so whoever team gets him, you're going to get a great holding one, the holding one, Ben Zobris. Uh, we got Albert Almora on the bench as well. Uh, great defense. Hopefully, I fell into a slump last year uh, and ended up getting demoted to the tri uh, to the minors. Hopefully, he comes back, bounces back this year. And of course, we got the legend, uh, the Grand Slam legend, David Bodie. I'll definitely be using this card in the game if uh, if it comes down to it. And of course, we see the pitching. I didn't mess with the bullpen much. I threw Craig, Craig Kimbrell in there, so I don't know. I don't really mess with the bullpen for these team builds. I probably won't. So, of course, the starting pitcher, we got Fergie Jenkins. Hopefully, we get him on the mound. I haven't played with him yet. I really want to. Uh, we got the 95, Kerry Wood. I played one game with him. He uh, he, he did okay. Uh, but other than that, he did not do really well. So, we got the 95, John Lester, the only one who's not in a Cubs uniform in this lineup. Uh, but, you know, since it is a Cubs all-time team build, I can use him. We got Jake Arrieta. In the fourth, and then we got Mark Pryor in fifth, because I feel like if we did a Cubs team build without Mark Pryor, it'd be very shameful. So let's go ahead. Let's jump into the ranked seasons game. We're ranked 360. I haven't played this game in months. I played one yet, a couple days ago, and I lost. So hopefully we can bounce back and win. Of course, we're going to play in Wrigley Field. I mean, where else would we play? We're going to play under normal settings, and uh, let's get to it. We finally found a game. We're playing the New York Wombats. Okay, let's see who this guy. We're going to have Mark Pryor on the mound. He's going to have Matt Harvey. He's got a God Squad, so we got Ijiro, Javi, Ken Griffey, Ted Williams, Frank Thomas, Nolan, Arenado, Robinson Cano, Buster Posey. Okay, uh, so only 198 in the lineup, and that's Robinson Cano. 
but that might be probably because he's a New York fan. And he's probably using that because he's, you know, that's the team he rolls with. So we got we got home field advantage though. He's 49 and 65, so he's lost a lot. But we got we're, but you never you know you can never let that record speak volumes. So here we go, first pitch of the game. Starting off with a low change of outside. Not hung, but it's okay. Uh, good old Javi's there with diamond defense. Gotta love it. All right, second batter. Hopefully the slurve doesn't fucking hang. Ooh, that's not. I feel terrible. This is not gonna be a pretty game. <laughs> this is not gonna be a pretty game at all. I almost fucking beamed him. Oh, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, let's let's go back to the basics here. Kind of upsetting. He almost beat that out. I, I, I for sure he's gonna beat that out. That was so close. Okay, the shift played perfectly for Griffey here. One, two, three inning for Mark Pryor. Let's go hit. All right, Ryan. Here we go. Here you go, baby boy. Bad swing. Bad, bad swing. Not ready for that. This might be a terrible game. I'm not. I'm not feeling good playing right now. Okay, he kind of jam he kind of jams us there. Um, that's one out. Oh, come on, Andre Dawson here. Just late and good swing. I that didn't feel good on that swing. Dawson ropes a ball right to Robbins Cano. It's going to be the second out of the inning. Here comes Anthony Rizzo, though. I, yeah, I felt like I got on that ball pretty well. All right, quick inning for both of us because I'm swinging at everything, and I guess I'm not getting anything to go with my way. We're going back to pitching already. <laughs> so this guy's been swinging at everything. All right, he's going to start first. He's going to get the first hit of the ball game. He swung out low on that changeup, and he got it. So congrats to him. Come on, Rezo. Do your, do your great. <laughs> nice jump. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. That's a, that's a big oof. Second, he's gonna get there too. I'm not gonna be able to. I threw it to third. I don't know what the hell I'm doing out here. He's got a man in scoring position, one out, and he's got Nolan Arenado out. Nolan Arenado. Why did I say Arenado? Nolan Arenado up. And he's gonna strike first. Hopefully, he's gonna go home too. Wow, okay. Like I said, you can never take the oh, go to you're out, definitely. All right, well, we got to get the lead runner at second. He's going to score a run, though. Really delayed uh, decision there to go and run. So we're down one. Um, you see, this is just what I told you. You can't really leave the record the record to speak for itself here. Okay. We're down one nothing. Let's go hit. Come on, no more hits. Perfect. Right, right where I want that changeup to be. Look at Harvey over there. Out, out was short. One out. Let's get quick two more. Matt Harvey's up. This is an easy out. Let that right down the pipe. Wilson destroys it, but it's a line drive right to his left fielder. Ah, sad. Just early too. Wow, that's sad. Started out last game. Uh, last time he came up, he started up the. I think he's the only one who scored a run. He gets another base hit right through Chris Bryant. And that hole right there. Okay, then. Not looking good. There's two outs, though. We got Frank Thomas up. That's a pitch he can destroy. I need to, I need to learn to keep that low. Ball two. Ball one. Let's get him out on the slurve. Wow, okay. He's now he's all of a sudden just taking everything. 
Okay, okay then, bud. We walk Frank, we walk Frank. But we're not gonna walk Frank. All right, let's give you the third out of the inning. We need a hit, please, for the for the love of God. Come on. Very late. Let me see it. Yeah, I know. I know it was very late. I mean, that's a good, it's a good strike, but man. Okay, that's a ball. We need to not swing at that, please. We're stuck in an 0-2 count, so that's what's scaring me right now. I dropped my PCI big time there. Doesn't pay it come back to bite us, though. All right, we went up and got that ball. That's got to get down. Okay, Rizzo's going to get the first hit of the ball game. It's a big one, too. We're going to get a two-out double here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Let's bring him home. Come on, Hoppy. Bring him home. Guy's got some cannons out there in his outfield, though. And we're 26 feet. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that's anything gonna, that's gonna bring anybody home. He's been watching that high fastball all game. He's been throwing it. I kind of just want to, you know, crush that. <sighs> Bad. I took my f eyes off the game and I looked at something. My phone buzzed. I need to look. <laughs> I had to look at it. Ooh, were we late? I guess we were late on that. That sucks. We weren't late on that one. But it, it doesn't matter. We're going to be right to Ken Griffey over there. So the two-out double does nothing for us. Uh, but at least we got a hit finally. The thing is, is Mark Pryor has been pitching his ass off. I don't really want to take him out, but we need some offense. Uh, Chris Bryant making the sliding stop over there at third to get Buster Posey. His pitcher will lead off the next inning. So we have that going for us. So hopefully we can make some, you know make a big dent in the Bicey Pods. Okay. Is he really gonna take Matt Harvey out? Really? Okay. Takes Matt Harvey out after only giving up one hit. Shocking. Alrighty then, I'm gonna get my bullpen 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 warmed up to um we'll go Billy Wagner. And we'll go Craig Kimball. Why not? Keep why am I swinging at that? Let's go. Let's give him a really high fastball here. Alright, he lays off. Changing the eye level here. Now let's go to a slurve way outside and away. Not outside. I mean not it was outside, but it was not down low where I wanted it. But hey, it worked. Strikeout. Now he's got to bring in either Liam Hendricks or Blake Snow. He's going to bring in Liam Hendricks to face off against Jason Hayward. Very questionable. I feel like uh, Hayward's weak here against... <laughs> Shit, dude. That sucks. That was such a pitch. Oh, that's so bad. That's a pitch we need to fucking hit. God damn, I can't believe we missed that. Okay. So who are we going to bring on here? Hopefully, my God, if he brought in the lefty, that would be beautiful. Uh, let's go with Ben Zobrist. Hopefully he can get on here. All right, nice check, nice check swing. Again, okay, 2-0. Nice little hit, hitter's count. First time we ever gotten a hitter's count this game. 3-0, okay. We're definitely taking all the way because I need base runners in any way I can get. Of course, that's a fastball right down the middle. Okay. 3-1. Nice slider. I thought I swung, but okay then. I did it. 3-2 now. Fastball. And Robinson Cano makes a slight wow. And he didn't throw it correctly. He thought he didn't get it. Okay, thank God. We got a man on first. Do we have anyone that's faster than Ben Zobrist on, on the bench? Castellanos is faster. Bodie's faster. Starling Castro is faster. Starling Castro is the fastest. So we're going to go get Starling Castro over there to pinch run. Get up something, you know, better than that 40 speed. All right, nice take. Here we go. This is lit. This is the inning. I can feel it right now. This is the inning. Another ball. 
Good start, good start. Got another hitter's count here for Sandberg. 3-0, let's go. Let's get a walk. Let's get a man in scoring position, please. A curveball. Very questionable. Now Sandberg gives a high drive. That's going to be a home run. And we're going to take the lead. 2-1. to one. Let's go. Sandberg with a big fly. Let's go. We're going deep. Okay, definitely. Uh, yeah, we're going to go Billy Wagner here. Billy Wagner, the best lefty in the game, in my opinion. Let's go. Strikeout Griffey here. Not a lot of strikeouts because we've been, uh, both of us have just been swinging at everything. I think there's been one strikeout, like, combined between both of us, and it was with me. No, I struck him out. I take that back. I'm sorry. I'm not giving Mark Pryor enough credit. And that's a strikeout. So that fastball was zooming. Blew right by him. All right, Ted Williams starting out with a curveball. And he quits. Well, that's upsetting. <laughs> I don't want to start another one because we went all the way to seventh inning. Okay, then. He just quit, man. That's very strange. He just got up and quit, I guess. Okay, well, I guess that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys next time.